with our industry, it seems that they they maximize the worst, like bridezillas and you know all of the bad behavior and you know the the edited versions of different reality shows or even you know what let's be ten thousand percent real the reality shows of the dream weddings and how half of that shit is comped and you know that's why it's so cute and it's not hard work because they make it look like it can be done in a day for two dollars and a biscuit. And I don't think that we do our industry any justice when we continuously feed into these stereotypical views of our industry. It takes, you know, a planner anywhere between what, 400 to 600 hours to plan an event. That's, and then to break it down, of course, to like a 45 minute show. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of editing there, but to only show the bad, to not show the creativity, to not show the ingenuity, to only show the things that perpetuates this endless cycle of drama and anger and complaining is just, it's ridiculous. And I almost hesitate asking it, but I feel like there is a fine line between providing community mm -hmm. and providing a context where complaining. Ooh, is baby. Ooh, baby. Yes. So can you yes. talk to me about that a little bit? Yes. Oh my gosh. Um <sighs> everyone's feelings are valid, right? There may be something where they have experienced something, they've heard something, they've done something that gives them the foundation for which, you know, they have an opinion on something. Um, you, you just can't stay there, especially if you're wrong, especially if um, you have no other context or you have no other experience. If you choose to just stay wherever you are and you choose to wallow, I can't, I can't do that. Like I was telling another group, my mother always says you have to meet people where they are and you know, deal with them there. And I'm like, no, I leave people where they are. If you are not willing to progress any further than your complaint, I can't do anything with you're a wet sponge. I can't do anything with you. I, I just can't. And I think that especially now with some of these communities, you have it where people will, people are looking for, I don't even want to say advocates. I think they're looking for um, mob rule sometimes. You know what I mean? It's like, oh, grab your torches and pitchforks. I'm pissed off about something. And it's like, oh, baby, you need some milk. You need a nap. Were you not hugged enough as a child? What is going on? This is not that big of a deal. And, and it's not to minimize anybody's feelings at all. But I feel like in some instances, there isn't enough context given and that everybody just wants to jump on and complain and complain and complain. And then one, no one gets heard, nothing gets done. And we don't even know if we're hearing the entire side of the story. So I am all about conversation more than I am about complaining. And I feel like if you're jumping from platform to platform and you're complaining, then you, sh oh, see, I was about to curse. You sure as shit ain't working, right? So if all you're doing is complaining, then I don't I don't know if you get a 1099 for that. I don't know if you get a W2 for that, but you sure as shit ain't working. So um, maybe this isn't the thing for you. And I don't think that there is enough people out there that say that, that tell mm -hmm. people that, that, you know, give them the truth and like, okay, I understand exactly where you're coming from. That's totally valid. What would you like to be done? Where can we go from here? And if it's just complaint after complaint after complaint, I'm done. I'm cutting you off. I'm sorry. The AT&T subscriber you have reached is no longer in service. I'm not dealing with this with you because uh, uh, John Taffer says, you know what? I embrace uh, solutions, not excuses. And I can completely agree with that. If you, And it's not just my own story that makes me feel this way. Like if you aren't willing to take your complaint and turn it into something amazing, then I don't know what we're, what we're here for. I really, I really don't. That's, I, I so love that. I'm thankful that, that you see that and that you had such a kind of a, an outspoken perspective on that because I've looked and I feel like there is a layer of disrespect that other industries have mm -hmm. for the wedding and events industry. 
-hmm. I was just talking to the wonderful women over at, at Rock Paper Coin, mm -hmm. uh, Nora and Elizabeth. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we were talking about how they went and raised money from, you know, some venture capital and the venture capital folks are kind of like, like, yeah. They poo-poo like, us a lot. Yeah, it's a kind of a cute industry. Exactly. You know? It's nice. Exactly. It's a very cute, like multi-billion dollar industry. So there's, yeah, yeah. You know like, what? And, and that's what I tell people all the time. You want to get cute? I can get gorgeous. Please don't minimize me. Don't don't play yeah. games. Don't play yeah. Games. But I think that what ends up happening is because a lot of the people in this industry are very creative and there's a lot of, you know, like emotion that are put into this industry because it is an emotional decision that's being made. Yes. It's a it's very important. It's a very important time in someone's life, you know, being married, having, you know, a, a social uh, gathering like these that we're talking about. Um, but at the same time, I feel like we need to be as wedding pros challenging ourselves, like you said, to be having those conversations, but not just complaining, not just like normalizing Staying. You know, I thought you were going to go in a whole totally different direction. I did. I thought you were going to talk about how um, with our industry, it seems that they they maximize the worst, like bridezillas and, you know, all of the bad behavior and, you know, the, the edited versions of different reality shows or even, you know what, let's be 10,000% real, the reality shows of the dream weddings and how half of that shit is comped. And, you know, that's why it's so cute and it's not hard work because they make it look like it can be done in a day for $2 and a biscuit. And I don't think that we do our industry any justice when we continuously feed into these stereotypical views of our industry. It takes, you know, a planner anywhere between what, 400 to 600 hours to plan an event. That's, and then to break it down, of course, to like a 45 minute show. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of editing there, but to only show the bad, to not show the creativity, to not show the ingenuity, to only show the things that perpetuates this endless cycle of drama and anger and complaining is just, it's ridiculous. And then, you know, that's just what everybody else sees on the front end. And then you have what happens in the industry and then everybody is like nitpicking and, and being catty and then being petty. And it's-, it's I think ooh. it keeps us low. I think it's exactly. that shit that like keeps, it keeps that cycle going. And to your point, I think we need to identify that. We need to see it. We need to address it. But like, it's no surprise that like the mother of the bride is gonna be, you know, right. like we know there are we some- We know that, we, we know, know that. that. Yeah. We're professionals. Like, and so instead of spending time talking about that, we could spend a couple minutes talking about how to, how to, I've solved it, how you've solved it, how we can mm -hmm. level up, you know, each other up. Exactly. But then we can go to the next place. Well, you know, and I tell people too, you know what? Is your client really a monster or did you create that monster? Let's just be completely real here. Like, so did Amen. you not explain things properly? Did you drop the ball a few times? Like, why are they literally losing their shit? Did they have help? Did you help them? Are you the co-defendant mm -hmm. in all of this? And a lot of people aren't being honest about that at all. At all. I, I love it. No nonsense. And you threw a little legal term in there. I like that. That was, <laughs> that was